Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about IFB Industries. Can this be a dark horse for the future, the way the Q2 numbers have panned out and what you should do with the stocks. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about uh, IFB, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, it will help you also ask me questions on a daily basis. Once you get the $10 membership, you will have access to my portfolio, my watch list which is a set of 70 stocks in which I give short and long term targets with stop losses. Uh, plus a number of podcasts on specific stocks and sectors that I put up there which I like and on which you can uh, take trade on your behalf uh, but disclaimers apply. For detailed market and company analysis kindly contact me directly if you have a number of stocks with you and we can work things out with a fee. Now about the company, it was formally established in 1974 and focuses on providing wide goods such as washing machines, dishwashers, microwaves etc. One of the famous brands here in India, not, not the best of the brands but one of the famous brands. They also manufacture refrigerators and kitchen accessories. The market cap of the company is around 3000 crores at the moment. This is the big thing, so the Q2 numbers just came out a few days back and uh, although the q1 numbers were very depressed but the q2 numbers are absolutely fantastic sales went up year on year by three and a half percent where everybody had an uh, inclination that the sales would still uh, drop but it looks like that uh, wide goods industry is also coming back into picture those who produce a number of different products a uh, profit went up something like 40 odd percent nearly 50 percent to 31 crores from 21 crores and that that tells you that the margins are now four percent compared to three percent earlier so the net profit margin has risen by 33% so 3% it was last year with 21 crores on 715 crores and this year on 740 crores it is around 31 crores so more than 4% 4.05 or 4.08 is what the margins are at the moment which is a tremendous increase but what has happened is the stock has already risen sharply before the result so stock has gone up more than 100% from the lows of March now that has been a real surge and even after results it has been uh, doing reasonably well it has been consolidating the debt is there there is reasonable debt in the company so that is a cause for concern but there is high promoter and institutional holding with under nine percent of free float or float with the retail investors other uh, stocks are with uh, you can say large and you can say strong investors a return on equity 4.2 percent which has increased from this quarter net profit margin is 4 percent operating profit margin has now increased to beyond 5 percent uh, 3 percent was before this quarter's results market cap of the company is around 3100 crore uh, now you remember that in march or march 24th uh, this year the market cap of the company was uh, less than 1600 crores so that has been the surge in the stock if you look at the performance of the stock then stock a peaked in january of 2015 so it went to beyond thousand levels actually in jan 2015 it was trading at uh, more than that uh, has been relentlessly falling since then and has fallen nearly 85 percent when in march we looked at the stock at around 350 the stock had fallen wow. nearly 85 percent from the top it fell nearly 65 percent in that february and march fall and why that happened because normally most of the stocks on an average fell between 45 to 55 percent but uh, ifb fell around 65 percent the reason for that is ifb's results before march of 2020 
वन नथिंग ग्रेट टू राइट होम अबाउट और नथिंग वेरी स्पेशल कम्पेयर टू अदर यू कैन से वाइट गुड्स मेकरस वेदर इट्स इन ए सीज वॉशिंग मशीन एट्सेट्रा दैट आर लिस्टेड हैंस पीपल थाट और इन्वेस्टर्स थाट दैट द रिजल्ट विल कंटिन्यू टू बी इवन वर्स एंड द कंपनी वुड स्ट्रगल बिकॉज ऑफ द शट डाउन एट्सेट्रा बट थिंग्स हैव रियली केम आउट वेरी प्लेजेंटली फॉर आई एफ बी यू कैन से इन्वेस्टर्स हु इन्वेस्टेड इन टू द स्टॉक्स ए टू थ्री ईयर्स बैक and i still struggling to make money because the results of q2 tells a different story it tells me that unofficially i would say that they are gaining market share in some segment i don't know which segment but they are doing that because the margins have expanded magnificently and and the profitability is absolutely fantastic because the profits of 31 crores on 740 crore sales was never expected in that region has recovered smartly from those lows of march uh, sales set to pick up in the festive season so the kind of numbers that has been put up for the september quarters i have no doubt that the december quarter should be much better now that is not to say that the stock would surge past 1000 or 1100 i don't know about the stock price stock price may go down so if you would have seen kilpest and i was talking about it in my sunday uh, live interaction uh, that kilpes came out with very good numbers but the stock may not go up and that is what has happened that now it is in red uh, but i think over 2 3 years time frame this stock could be very big in the next 3 to 4 years so that's why i'm putting up uh, in the caption that this could be a dark horse in the next 3 4 years with a market cap of only 3000 crores and a sales of 3000 crores so 7 or 40 crores a quarter is uh, what it just over 3000 crores sales so this is set to move up also similar to what has happened with other companies with one time sales Uh, kind of a profile uh, this is not a market leader and this has led to uh, the stock being given a lower pe but i feel that going forward it will have very high pe because of the kind of profit growth that it is showing if the growth continues so very strong q2 results and numbers are set to improve going forward If you look at the stock technicals, then there's strong support around the six forty, six twenty regions. That is a very strong support. The stock is at seven forty, I know, but then the markets have run up a lot. So there could be a ten to fifteen percent market correction. That is not ruled out. I don't know about the reason, but reason will follow. The markets can definitely correct something like seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred points. and that would be the occasion to really get into such stocks like ifp because these will keep on selling their products the 50 dma is around 640 that is where i feel that one can accumulate the stock it is very difficult for the stock to go past 880 once it takes that out then 1000 1080 is very much possible but i do say that the stock is gaining traction at the moment and it looks like that after a bit of consolidation it may still continue to go up higher so what needs to be done i would say avoid at these levels uh, this is not a market leader but what you do is um look for declines look for massive declines to get into it as i mentioned look for a 15 10 to 15% fall because of any reason from the top in order to buy don't buy at the top and put only 5% of your holding at this point of time once results consistently get stronger and the stock get stronger get into the stock even more so i am more of a fan of averaging upwards rather than averaging downwards and have only 5% exposure as i mentioned So this was my video on IFB Industries. So please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my videos straight away when I post it. Thanks a lot for watching.